It's time to play England, one of the nations that got a major update in the latest EU4 patch, and of course, in wow. multiplayer. And not just any multiplayer, a Habibi Discord 55 player game. Speaking of Habibi Discord, we have a lot of special EU4 events planned for the server over the next couple of months, starting with Nations Roulette, where players will play Nations by random and then switch every time there's a lobby rehost. More info in the end of the video. This lobby was stacked, like three players in Scandinavia stacked. There's no way that will come and bite us in the ass in the future. The first issue of playing England in EU4 MP is the Hundred Years War. Now, you have two major options that you can choose from. The first option is to simply ruin your nation to win the Hundred Years War. Odds are heavily stacked against you, and if you get stack wiped once, you probably will never land again. Or you can go for the less range option of exploiting all the tax and then selling all of the French provinces besides Calais for a fair and reasonable price. I went for the second option. Of course, this requires some level of diplomacy. You know, um, I can I can immediately I can immediately give it to you. If you give me the money, I can immediately do the first part now. Listen, and then later when you get more money, I'll give it to you. Pay. It's fine. Sure, sure. So I will Super don't remove privilege. don't remove your guarantee. Guys, stop. Hey, Alright, I'm just going to a different room. To I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the humiliation war on Scotland, and uh, you join, and then I'll give you the provinces. So if you can send me the money for some of them now. I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you 500. Okay. For the, for the northern part. Yeah. For the northern yeah. part first. Okay. Yes, you heard that right. I was gonna do a show strength on Scotland, starting in the most recent patch of EU4. Doing a show strength counts as a humiliation for the age goal bonus. And I wanted to get that bonus on top of getting 100 of all power points. Of course, this is incredibly greedy, especially if there's a Norway player who's able to get claims right away. Surely this won't come and bite us in the ass. I did the only reasonable thing someone would do in my position. And I truce broke, Scotland. leaving us with these beautiful borders. <laughs> Getting in a death war with Norway and Denmark did not seem appealing to me. So I had to rethink my diplomacy. You're in! Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh man, I got worried. Uh, I have to I fight this so box okay, alone, dude. Doing these are broken. They need to fix it. You should this. sell them to AI so you can capture them. So you can sell. Wait, they're actually them. broken. They're actually they're broken. Really yeah, close. they have no morale. Oh. Well, I, dude, guess I, 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 I was playing England and Singapore, and I lost like a, I did a ten heavy stack, and I lost them to like twenty so transport. So you make galleys instead, right? Make galleys, yeah. Actually, I just no, spent a bunch of ducats on heavy, so it feels really bad, man. Galleys are, have more cannons and light ships. You're gonna have to use galleys with transports to tank. Is that the new meta? Able to get the help of France if I gave him the rest of my French lens for free and he would commit only around 20k. Uh, that sounded like a good deal to me and I would take any help that I could take. I feel like the, the, the Danish and uh, Norway just can get their game because they don't know if France is gonna help. <laughs> I mean, if they're gonna play like freaks, I'm gonna play like a freak too. Yeah. Freak on freak action. Dude. Freak on freak action gives freak content for the stream. Action. This is good for everyone. Everyone wins, except for them. Everybody they lose. Yeah. Full did your worst streamer. Uh, here's the narrative. <laughs> the streamer box, streamer box. All right, get your troops in here. Get your troops here. I'll sell you the provinces for free now. All right, I'm going. Let's go. Already in war, dude. 1453. I need discipline advisor though. All right, let's run into them right away. I have a good general. It's what shits. The freaks. Chase, chase, chase. There's no forts. Chase, 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 chase. Chase Aberdeen, Aberdeen, there's no forts. We're going there. there we go. It's actually over. It's over. Go, go, go. Fire. Chase them again, chase them again. And then my navy's ready now. I have 17 oh, galleys. Wiped. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. They're all wiped. No wiped. 
Oh my lord, what is this new uh, recovery reforms? <laughs> yes, I strong armed him. We don't have to go there. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> That was easy. Now with that war out of the way, we can now focus on what England is known for, which is scaling our nation up. And for this, we were going to do our mission tree, which gave us a possibility of more dev cost, as well as getting infrastructure ideas. And I'll talk more about the validity of infrastructure ideas in my upcoming scaling video, where we talk about scaling EU4 nations, specifically in multiplayer. This was a game where I valued infrastructure ideas, despite having probably one of the worst policies out of all idea groups that you can go in a multiplayer game. The idea that I had here was I was just going to stack as much dev costs as I could as early as possible. We had some dev costs in mission tree, we had dev costs in infrastructure ideas, and on top of that we were using the new estate privilege, that uh, development of temples, which gives five development per church, so we were also spamming churches in all of our provinces. Well, we're about to since we were still recovering in debt since of the early shenanigans in the wars that we're fighting early. And since we're going to go infrastructure ideas first, which is an admin idea group, we were going to expand through vassals in Ireland, specifically through one vassal. But first, a message from the Indians. Yeah, I'll ruin your country. I'm You'll ruin my country if I step into India? Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Thanks for uh, the reminder. Uh, Krampitsa, yeah. if you try and ruin his country... I will make Holland country strong country. and we will conquer India <laughs> together. You, you know, this, this is actually the most cursed game I've played in a while and I'm actually so down for it. Yeah. I can't even see how cursed is going to be yet. You need ally to stop coalition. You need to improve relations with me again, Nabi. We he doesn't. We have to gank Castile. <laughs> we are gonna have to day one gank him. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. Gank, gank, gank. Holland, this yes. is the beginning of your ascension to great power yes. status. Although my making is absolute dog shit, but uh, hey. <laughs> Me and you are the same, dude. Look at. <laughs> uh, so bad. I like when you have characters with three pips. Hey, come on. Okay, if you're just tuning in, my idea build for this MP is infrastructure ideas, exploration ideas. It's one, 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 by the way. So I can't, you can't do more than 40% of one idea group, if that makes sense. Infrastructure, exploration ideas, then mercenary ideas, then naval ideas. Uh, BB, I thought you said naval ideas are bad. Yes, I know I said that. It's okay. We're embracing the meme of the game. And when Spain ended up getting Burgundy in the Burgundy inheritance, there's only one proper way to react. We demand you release Burgundy, or there will be I mean, consequences. That's literally what I said. Why are you being so aggressive? That's literally what I said. We told. demand it! <laughs> no, we're just messing around, man. Don't it's not serious. Hey man, I was just messing around. Don't don't take me serious. We're still friends, right? Yeah, yeah, we hope. Okay, okay, okay. It was a joke. For now. No, not for now. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. All right. Things are stabilizing. We can now focus on our giga buildup. If you're wondering why I'm seizing, it's because I'm trying to get this. In order to do this, we need to remove this, which requires us to remove 30%. Uh, percent. There's also a mission that gives calf combat and morale damage. Vin villainage. I don't know why I'm saying lineage. Get rid of English and the villainage. Where do these guys spawn even? In Ireland? Okay, go, 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 go. We can get rid of that. We can hit this again. Actually, I don't want to hit that again because of burger influence. Uh, don't want that one. That one I'll click. Okay, uh, we got to kill the rebels. Golden era. We'll hit this at the same time. So we get minus 20 all dev cost. Then we will have this and then plus with exploration ideas. We will be deving tax though. Ooh. Well, maybe we can finish the Diplo ideas fast enough. 1479! England! England! Come out, England! You're going for GB? Oh. Let's go, already scaling, Let's scaling. Protector. Meanwhile, in Scandinavia, Norway bankrupted trying to colonize. Sweden bankrupted fighting Russia with Denmark, while Denmark ended up dying to the Lubeck player, leaving no one in Scandinavia. Holland then attacked Denmark, trying to do a show strength, but Lubeck did not like that and declared war on Holland. We need to help our ally of Holland. They're being attacked by Cologne, or just oh, it's yeah. just it's just Lubeck. Lubeck. 
Oh, Henry. Oh, he wants yeah. to take Shayla. Seems like he does. Church meta is actually real. Each church gives 33 tax and also unrest and 5 dev cost. My first reform, I went the tax. Oh. Minion? That government form has been OP, but now it's even more OP because you can do this. Where is it? Where is it? One of these right here. It's 5% dev cost. Abibi, abibi, abibi. Mm, okay. He has three star generals, what's carrying him right now. I yeah. mean, I have a five shock. Yeah, uh, shift consolidate? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> Where this is shift consolidating? I don't know what he's shift consolidating. I am. I'm not really like losing any money while fighting this. That's the funny part. Like they oh. probably think I'm Giga committing yeah. here, but I'm not. Probably. Oh, Mega Giga. Why is this guy dead again? The war against the Germans was going very good for us, and I was still being able to scale and give money to Holland while doing so. However, this war wasn't all easy sailing, and they even pushed us back slightly. How much is the garrison on that fort? A thousand. The time to develop our lands than in the midst of a big war. So cheap, chat. It's so cheap. Derby, is the church done? The church, each church gives five dev cost. Development of temples, that's what it's called. Thank you. Okay, so wait. Uh, it's too big off of the uh, demo you just got because it doesn't have access, right? Yeah. Lubeck just went bankrupt. Why did he end this hard? I offered him a peace deal, man. Wait, how is he still... Uh, still 2.7 morale? Huh. Well then. How do we cut this guy up, man? I want some yeah. land. I committed. Yeah, I'll give you a... Uh, Jaylen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll take the Denmark state. That's all I want. The islands. Yeah, I'll take the Denmark state. Another successful war for the English, leaving us with Jaland, which was really great for us as we were able to push some of that sweet, sweet Lubeck trade node into the English channel. And of course, this is just the beginning of our campaign and our great English empire. But the end of this video. Over the next two parts of this video, we will go through the British mission tree and I'll be showing you guys why Britain, Great Britain, has one of the most OP overpowered mission trees in EU4 multiplayer. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Of course, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are going to be hosting special events on my Discord, which you can find in the description and in the pinned comment. The first special event is actually starting this coming Tuesday if you're watching this video when it's brand new and we will be doing Nation Roulette. These special events will be like my Habibi's Daycare series, where there will be weekly updates and I'll be spectating rather than playing in them. In order to find out who truly is the best at EU4 multiplayer in any kind of scenario, people will be assigned random countries and at every rehost, they will be swapping their countries with another player country. The first session will start this coming Tuesday at 10 a.m. PST 1 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. CET, uh, that's the same time, just different time zones. And you can watch it live on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash appsohabibi, which you can find in the description and the pinned comment below. Thank you for watching this video, truly appreciate it, give a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.